Jinju Korean Grill takes the Korean casual dining experience to the next level by offering premium beef cuts within a trendy, laid-back setting. It was first opened on January 2016 by Nathan Akipel and Korean partners at the posh SM Aura Sky Park in Bonifacio Global City, which we have previously featured. Today, we visit their new branch at the Glorieta 4 in Makati, which took over the spot of Broadside German Bar and Restaurant. Upon entering, you will be charmed by the soothing pastel-colored themed interiors and cozy couch seating. What's up, Alexandro? Hello! Hey everybody, we just arrived at Jinju Korean Grill at their newest branch here in Glorieta 4. Aksana's getting started on the banchan. What's your favorite here? Kimchi. Mm -hmm. From their menu, we would highly recommend the USDA boneless short ribs, USDA beef belly, USDA prime beef brisket, cheese dongalbi, hamol pajeon, dolsot bibimbap, beef bulgogi, bulgogi bokumbap, japche, and mul nangyeon. So my all-time favorite is the wusam gyuk, which is the USDA beef belly. That looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, it's time to get started on the grill. Oh yeah. Already salivated. We haven't been back to Jinju in quite some time, and I'm glad that they opened a branch here in Makati. So today is all about uh, ordering some of the dishes that we've already ordered before and that we enjoyed. This is also Alexandra's favorite. Okay, beef belly is ready. Do a little wrap with it. Fresh lettuce. What I love about their USDA beef belly here is it's very high quality meat, ultra tender, and I love their dipping sauces. So they have a sesame dipping sauce and they have a uh, soy based sauce as well. Delicious. It's a spicy miso paste. That's the bulgogi bokumbap. Next, the bulgogi bukumbap. This is the fried rice version of the dolsot bibimbap. This is with bulgogi beef. It's served in a very hot clay pot, which they use to mix everything up. Cheers. I actually prefer this to bibimbap because the flavors are just seem to be so much more infused in the dish. That is super flavorful. With the beef, the mushrooms, the onions, the leeks and carrots. Absolutely delicious. I'm enjoying. I 
like that there is a lot of mushrooms, just nice texture and goes well with the noodles. Up next, one of my all-time favorites, the mul nangyon. This is a cold buckwheat noodle soup with cucumbers, uh, pears, ginger, egg, a little bit of beef, and mushrooms, and that's in a chilled broth. Okay, I got my spoon. Let's try this chilled broth. Let's start. Mm. The flavors coming out of that chilled broth is really something else. And if you haven't tried this Korean uh, cold soup, you have to. So this is with buckwheat noodles. This is a very kind of, very healthy kind of noodles. So cut together right now. Mix it up a little bit. It's quite refreshing after all this uh, very hot barbecue that we've had. So these generous amount of pears. In a way, it's kind of like a dessert, but the soup is actually quite savory. Uh, a little bit sweet and sour at the same time. Mm. That is delicious. Highly recommended. And actually very light. Welcome to 88 Hot Springs. This is the number one weekend getaway natural hot spring destination from Metro Manila. Only one hour away. And wow, the temperature is 46.1 degrees Celsius. Oh, with the bubble pool and everything. This is one ultimate relaxation getaway you guys have to consider on your next trip to Manila. 88 Hot Spring Resort is located at the base of Mount Makiling.